Robot, move forward. Get the bad guys. Good boy. Shake a paw. Go pee. Party time. I know we missed May the 4th and I should have done this the other day, but I thought to myself, you know what? I don't have to give up to no calendar schedule. So <laughs> I'm gonna do it today. The other day um, I had somebody over and they walked by and they were like, man, awesome. An at at an ATT, -AT? I don't know. Um, what's it do? And I was like, well, it's a robot. Everything I make is a robot, right? So the thing is, I went to turn it on, and well, one of his legs, I'm not sure that one there, you can see, is just a hanging. So I thought today would be a good idea, since it's not as nice out as it has been, um, to fix it. <laughs> so all my robots, whenever I build something like this, <laughs> I never build them to last. They're just something I do for fun. And as you can tell, everything is hot glued, right? And <laughs> that's not going to last. So I think we should swap out the uh, hot glue and put some screws through here and get this guy up and running. What do you think? Yes? Yes, please. I think the first thing we're going to have to do is make sure this servo is in its appropriate position. So we're going to have to load up the project that I created for this thing before. Um, let's take a little look-see. I should have a project I made for this robot here. Let's check on the cloud. Um, public. Let's go to my files. What do we got? Do, 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 do. Browsing, browsing, browsing. Somewhere in here. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, so let's turn this on. <laughs> of course, everything is just sitting in here. Nothing's attached. Okay, good, that works. So it should have its own Wi-Fi. There it is there. And now we should be able to connect to it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You live. So what that has done is moved all of the servos into their into a standing position, which means it should be straight up and down. Of course, except for the back legs, which look like they have a little bit of an angle to them, and that's probably because of the gate that we got designed for. So what I could do now is if I flip this guy around and maybe even lie him down. There we go. This servo is in the right position for me to attach the leg and just like that. And we can do it while it's connected. So I have a drill with a little bit on it. And maybe the first thing you do is loosen up some of this hot glue that's on here. Maybe I can reuse it sort of and get, so let's turn on our, uh, this one here. Let's get some more heat and some air. Let's melt some of this hot glue. Let's see what happens. Is that enough? Oh yeah, looks good. Now we'll just make sure it's lined straight up and down. We'll hold it there for a second and then I'll put some screws in there. I'm thinking I have, so I'm not at the office at the lab, so I don't really have a lot of selection here, but this is, um, <laughs> these are all my servo adapters. Um, when you sell a couple hundreds of thousands, close to a million servos a year, for your robot products, you end up uh, with a ton 
of access to your different adapters. Now we just need a bit. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Let's use this one. Okay, I did all of the screws and all of the legs. And this is the one that had fallen off. I put extra screws into it. <laughs> I got favoritism. What can I say? I pick favorites. So this is running off just a LiPo um, 7.4 volt with an easy BV4. And I, it doesn't look like it has a camera in it. Okay, another little thing. This is a hockey puck and it came out of his foot. <laughs> because in order to weigh his feet down, because you can see they're all on these little hinges with nothing there. Oh, there we go. He doesn't have a hockey puck under that foot. Okay, I'm having trouble keeping it in. I don't want to get any more glue. So let's screw it in. Okay, that's better. <laughs> what a good hack. Okay, so let's move this guy over. There we go. Now, let's take a look at our project. Um, what have I done? It's been a very long time. <sighs> let's see, so I have a mobile interface here. I have a soundboard, an auto positioner, and I got a, uh, a script here called turret. What does turret do? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> okay, let's go to our full screen. There's no camera on this. I should, you know what? The next mod we should do is add a camera. Okay, so let's see, um, what's this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like the sound of that. All right, that's awesome. Bring it back up. Oh, why do you want to move? You're trying to move on your own. Okay, so let's try making a move. Let's make, um, well, first let's try this. I think it's his head, left and right. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Stop should stop it. And forward should make him walk forward. A new modification that I think I should do right now is this controller that's in here is actually a really old one. This is like the very first Easy Robot Easy B controller. And this is an, it looks the same, but it's different because you can see there's a little bit of metal in there. See a little piece of metal underneath? That is an antenna because there's a larger antenna and there's um, two 500 megahertz CPUs in here. I think they're 500 or 400 and something megahertz CPUs. So this one's quite a bit quicker and it has way better Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap all the cables from here to here and we're gonna use this one and see if we get smoother servo animations. There we have it. The guy is out and it's obviously easy to, to transfer over the wires. I just had to go one to one from what was here <laughs> to there. And here, we'll just put that over here for a second. And let's put this back in. <laughs> what a mess. Let's see if we can get Wi-Fi for this guy. There it is, it's called, it's got its default name. So we're gonna have to change that default name. There we go, that's the controller. And now we go to AP mode. And that's its SSID, so we'll change that to AT, AT. <laughs> there it is. We'll connect to the robot. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we get a different uh, level of performance out of it with this. So let's first start with, I think the um, the attack seemed like it was kind of slow. So let's see what that looks like now. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. And the other one was um, shaking a hand. That seemed to go down like really slow, right? When it was, let's try it now, shake. Oh yeah, that's better. It's not as choppy. 
I'm like shaking it. What am I doing? <laughs> Pretending that it's real. You're not real. Uh, let's see. We got um, person. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. There's good. Yeah. And howl. <laughs> okay, the other one that was pretty slow was P. So let's see what P looks like now. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to take all my stuff with them. Um, dance might be a little smoother now. Let's try that. Oh gosh, yeah, look at that. You've got a little bit of a back step. And walking should be a lot better now. Oh gosh, yeah, that's much better. But I noticed something. His head is not turning left or right. So we'll go back to the program. Let's look at the auto position. And we'll go to, we'll go to stand. And this, let's see here. We'll click on port edit. Okay, um, so D1, this one's probably his, well, that's his up and down. Okay, and then this one, D1 is his left or right. And nothing's happening, so that should be port D1. So this is D0. Oh, it's plugged in the wrong one. Okay, I gotta take this one out and plug it in the next one. Okay, one second. Poof, fixed. So it was D0, D1, and there was a space, and then that space went to this one here. I believe that other connector is going to be the winch. So we should be able to now see if his winch works. Yes, good. Good, good. Let's try his head left and right. Oh, much better. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so his dance now should move his head back and forth, I'm guessing. Let's try. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so <laughs> that's fun. Um, what else can we make him do? Oh, we can add some speech recognition. That might be a good idea. To start, let's try that. So we'll just go add audio. Um, which one? We'll use this one here, speech recognition. Okay, by default, I already should be able to tell it to move different directions. So that's good. Let's try that. Robot, move forward. Okay, so my speak, my microphone in here is not very good, so my confidence level is pretty low. So let's lower our expected confidence to, let's just go super low, it's like 0.6, so 60%. Hey man, I, I made it almost through high school with 60% until I dropped out. Robot, move forward. Robot, stop. Perfect. Okay, so we could do those two things. Now those are just like pre-programmed, right? So let's just go back into our speech recognition here. Let's add in um, robot, or we'll just type in bad dog, bad dog. I know all the hardcore Star Trek guys are like, it's not a dog. Yeah, well, so let's uh, make bad dog do the P. Okay, and we'll say party time. And you know what that's gonna do. Make him do his little boogie woogie. Auto position. Happy dance. Okay, let's try that. Party time.
All right, I forget my commands. What were they here? Let's click on that. Ah, bad dog. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted to, um, uh oh. Okay, well, I was <laughs> gonna say <laughs> right before the battery died, which I have not charged in, I don't know how many years it's been since I've turned this on. I was gonna say we should add a camera to his snout here so that we can put a ball on the ground and he can like chase the ball back and forth. I think that would be kind of funny. But now that his battery's dead, maybe, maybe I'll take a look into it while we charge the battery. So that might be for a future video. <laughs> okay, so there is, whoa, don't fall. There is my uh, contribution to, late contribution, mind you, to Star Wars Day. To give you an idea of how long ago I built this thing too, you can see here there's a robot video we did in May 2017. And this was back in the days when I was still with Easy Robot. Um, <laughs> pretty, pretty funny stuff here. <laughs> so you can watch this video. I guess what, he pees on a plant? That was our May the 4th video. And then, oh, right. I called him Darth Jader. DJ, Darth Jader, I thought it was kind of cute. I should pull him out too. He was fun. Tell him to do a headstand and stuff with his big old helmet. Oh, of course, there has to be an R2. We don't shoot R2. <laughs> they all do a dance. Oh my gosh. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hold up, hold up. I totally forgot about this. This was a video series that we had done years ago. This was Emily. Fantastic Emily. She was great. She's a PhD in um, Robotics, me mechatronics, I can't remember. Sorry, Emily, when you watch this video, I apologize. Super, super smart lady and loved working with her. She took over the video series, but um, her and I started it. And I go through in this video how I built these three robots. And I go through um, their apps on the phone because I made little apps for them so we can control them, so we can make that little skit you saw. And I think I talk about like, the programming a little bit more too. I definitely get into some of the hardware. So if you're interested, we should watch this video. I think it's pretty wild. Just type in um, the robot program, may the fourth be with you. I'll throw it in the comments if you're interested. But um, yeah, that was a blast in the past. What a fun, fun time that was. It was five years ago, I guess now. Holy moly. Okay, now for real, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.